Hello, in this session, we'll talk about installing SAP HANA client. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So this is the scenario. We have rented an SAP HANA 1 server from Amazon Web Services. It's a Linux virtual machine, and now we need to make a connection to the server using SAP HANA Studio. For that, we need to have SAP HANA client software up and running. And this will take place on Windows-based machine and I'm going to use my laptop for that purpose. Once we have SAP HANA Studio installed, we can use it as a development tool as well as as an administration tool to manage SAP HANA 1 database. At this point, we have already downloaded these two software, SAP HANA Client and SAP HANA Studio, and we have that in our download folder in zip format. We downloaded these two software from SAP Community Network, not from SAP Marketplace. That's why we have them in zip format, otherwise we would have had them in SAR extension. Then we would have downloaded SAPCAR utility as well to decompress them. But now we only need a normal unzip utility for that. Here is my download folder and this is the zip file I'm interested in right now, SAP HANA Client Win64. I have a 64-bit Windows. I'm going to double-click on this file. I have an Express zip file utility installed on my computer. Basically, we need to extract this zip content into a folder. So if you have some other tool, then that's fine. So here, I'm going to click on the Extract and Extract All. Here, I have entered the path where I need to extract this zip content and within this path this folder will be created so I'll have all this content in a separate folder but I just typed in this path here now I'm going to click on extract button I'm getting a message do I need to create a folder yes I need to create this folder file extraction is successful click OK so the contents of the zip file are extracted in this folder which was created under this path that I provided. Sorry, this path that I provided, then another folder was created and yet another folder was created within it. So there's so many folders, but this is the actual content. That's fine. And I need to run this file here. HDB setup. You can also run HDB INST installer. This will launch a text-based installer and this will launch a Windows based installer so I'm gonna go with the second one so the installer will start it's a four-step wizard this is the path on which client will be installed SAP HANA database client change the path if you want to otherwise click on the next button next button is on the lower right hand side on page 2 you simply need to review the information. You can expand this section here if you want. I'm going to click on the install button. The installation may take few minutes. It's installing few components as you can see on the screen. Finally, you will see this message, installation finished successfully. The whole process should not take more than 4 or 5 minutes. You can view log if you want to. I'm going to click on the finish button.